everyone and welcome back to Notes Naga. In today's video, we are going to do increasing array. So, uh, this is the problem. What the problem says is, we will be given an array of n integers. You have to modify the array so that it is increasing. That means every element is at least as large as the previous element. So, on each turn, you may increase the value of any element by 1. What is the minimum number of turns required? So, this is our input. We have 3, 2, 5, 1, 7. So, what we have to do is uh, modify the array so that it is an increasing array now. So, after 3, anything uh, equal to or greater than 3 can come. But 2 is smaller. So, we have to change it to make it greater than or equal to 3. So, now since we need minimum, what we will do is we will uh, change 2 into 3. That will be the minimum that we can make. So to do that, what we do is 3 minus 2, the difference will be uh, what 1. So 1 will come in our uh, number of minimum turns required. So turn will become 1 now. Now 2 will become 3. Now 3 and 5. 5 is already greater. So you don't really have to do anything. Then we will check for 5 and 1. Now 1 is smaller. So what we do with 1, we have to change it. So 5 minus 1 is 4. So we have to add 4 in 1 to get 5. That is the minimum turn that will be required. So let's look at it closely. We have 3, 2, 5, 1, 7. So 3 and 2. 2, the minimum that we can make a 2 so that it becomes an increasing array is 3. If we make it more than 3, it will still remain an increasing array. But we need the minimum turns. So at, and at one turn, we can only increase 1. So since 2 is smaller, so what we will do, we will find the difference of 3 and 2, which is 1. So we will add 1 to 2 and make it 3. So we have 3 now. Now our new is 3. So we will compare 3 and 5. Now since 5 is already greater, we will not do anything and we will go ahead. In the next, we have 5 and 1. So 1 is smaller. So what we have to do is find the difference between 5 and 1. 5 and 1, the difference will become 4. So now we have 4. So we will add 4 in 1 and make it 5. Now why are we trying to make it 5 only and not nothing greater? I hope you understood that because we need minimum. And minimum is if we make it equal to that number and make it an increasing array. And after that we have 5 and 7. 7 is already greater so we do not do anything. So the number of turns required will become 1 plus 4 which is 5. So I hope you understood this logic and let's check out the code. So this is the code. All I did was first uh, input our n and take care of the constants. We have to use long long here. So we have n and we will make a vector and we will store all of our elements, these elements which we get in input. And after doing all of that, what I did was then I ran a loop from 1 to uh, the n numbers. And I started from 1 because 0 is what we will be considering. 0 and 1 is what we are considering throughout. So we will start with 1. So if v of i is less than v of i minus 1. So v of i is this and i minus 1 is this. If v of i is what we have is less than v of i minus 1. That means if this is smaller, that means we have to do something. So if it is smaller, then what we do is answer is answer is equal to answer plus v of i minus 1 plus v of i. And answer is basically my turn, this thing. So uh, I will add that in answer and that will become my minimum number of turns. And uh, after that, I have to also update this. And if I do not update, it will not give me the correct answer because we are trying to modify the array at the end of the day. But in my first attempt, uh, you can see my first attempt was rejected. And that was because I forgot to uh, update these values. So don't do that. Update these values. So I made an update over here. VFI is VFI plus the difference that we got. So that, that's what we were doing here too. This plus this. So we did that and at the end I just returned the answer. So if I do control plus B. I already have done it once. So finished and I have the answer 5. Now let's submit. Don't forget to comment this out. And after that save it also. And then 
go to submit choose file main and submit so it has been accepted you can see so i hope you understood this question and if you did then please give us a thumbs up also subscribe to our channel and i'll see you again in the next question till then take care and bye bye